In this video guide, I want to show you how you can publish your 3D models in Sketchfab. And you can see here in Sketchfab, we have a lot of 3D models you can explore, you can download. Some of those are for free, some of them are for sale. So you can search for a lot of different types of 3D models here. Just go there and explore it. And if you're interested, you can check another video guide entirely dedicated to how to explore and use the search filters in Sketchfab and so on, how to manage the search and so on. Now in this video, we're going to upload instead of download. So we are uh, becoming publishers. We want to publish some models that we created. Perhaps we want to sell them. We, we want to charge for the um, uh, for some models that we created. And we can see here we can use a lot of different uh, formats. And we have FBX, OBJ. Blender, STL, but also other formats. If you click on other formats, you can see the full list of the formats that you can use. Now, I'm going to do an example with Blender so that you can do it because it's free, it's open source, anyone can download it and install it. But you can see here you have many formats, 3D Studio Max, Halembic, uh, Colada, DAE, and you have also uh, FBX, uh, DXF from uh, AutoCAD or Revit, so CAD application, but BIM application, BIM application. So you, you can use any software that you are currently using to create your 3D models for architecture or character design or industrial design, whatever, and upload the right format. Sketchfab supports a lot of formats, so you can choose the one that you want. So I'm going to use Blender here. So you can download it and install it real quick from the web. You can just search for Blender and go in the download page. And if you're interested, you will find an entire course in the channel about Blender going from the basics and from more advanced topics. So you can see here that I can either click and open up a file or I can drag and drop. But first, I need a file. So you can see this is Blender, and at first you only have a single cube there in the middle. So that's kind of a little bit poor to, to make an example. So I'm going to use a file here from the Blender video course that I have prepared. So I'm going to go in the this uh, lesson 24. You can see here there are many types of modeling. And you can apply materials as well. You can do renderings in Blender. But I'm going to use a, a really simple object just to this example with you or test. So you can also use the cube if you want. Or you can import another 3D model from another platform. So I'm going to use this lesson right here from the Blender video course. You can see it has a lot of um, assets inside. It has lights. It has materials. I can run a rendering real quick here. You can see uh, that it's going to be really realistic. But again, if you're interested in all of that, check the Blender video course. I'm only going to export a simple object. So I'm going to get that puppet right there, which I have created really fast, really simple using the, the 3D modeling tools in Blender and also the sculpting tools. And I'm going to select it and, and go to export. Here is when I can choose the format. Now, any 3D software has this type of uh, export options or similar options. So the you can see there you have GLTF, GLB, FBX, AutoCAD, DXF. And so you can use it for building information modeling, BIM. You can use it with AutoCAD files. You can use it with simple 3D models. Now I'm going to choose FBX because in my experience it works better, it works always or like almost always. I'm going to save this as an FBX file in a FBX folder and I'm going to call it just Puppet. And on the right side here you have some options. Now the, the most important is probably to export only the selected objects, not the whole scene. But you can do it. You can also export entire scenes into Sketchfob. But again, this is going to be like a simple overview, a simple uh, video guide about exporting a simple file. So if you want, then you can also write in the comments. You can make questions. You can ask for 
further assistance. Now in the transform here, well, you can set up this as you like, but if they don't turn up well in, uh, in Sketchfab, you can always fix them. So I'm gonna just set the, the front here to the X and the up to the Z. So I can then choose to apply transform. And also if you want to use the smoothing, th this is important because you're gonna have like smooth surfaces instead of faces, visible faces. So you need to, you can try to export also the subdivision modifier. Now this is all um, features that you will find in Blender, which is hard to explain in one single video. So I'm just gonna, gonna export like this and see if everything is fine. So I'm gonna export and uh, we're gonna see then the model in uh, Sketchfab. But those are really important things that you need to check out. You need to manage the smoothing groups, you need to manage the mapping on your object in order to have a nice material. So I'm just gonna click and drag here in the upload page, the FBX, or I can browse. So I can either drag and drop or browse directly and then say upload. Now, since this is a really small object with really few polygons, you can see it's really fast. So now I'm uploading and I should see the preview there on the top left within seconds. So the beauty of Sketchfab is that it's, it's, that it's really fast. It's really easy to use and to manage. So there you have the title, then you have the description and I'm just typing here, simple description. And then you, you can set up categories for your model, whether it's a car or a building or art or character, fashion, and so on. So you have categories, you have tags. And so by inserting the right tags, your model can be discovered by someone that is navigating the website. You can see now it's upside down. So something went wrong with the export. But another really important thing about Sketchfab is that we have an entire set of tools, of editing tools online that we can use. So you can read, you can try to re-upload once you save the, your page before you publish, you can save it. You can try different uploads, you can re-upload or you can directly edit the model here in Sketchfab. So you can see there, you can change the field of view of the camera. You can work, you can check the wireframe, so the, the, the polygons in your model, you can, well, straighten your models by changing the rotation there on the epsilon, on the X, on the Z. Now, since this model wasn't straight since the beginning, because I have exported, not, um, well, it was already rotated. Now, it's keeping this rotation, which is, fine, but you can be more precise and work more precisely in Blender. And again, you will find all the information in the Blender video course. Now I'm gonna also set up a background here and I can rotate the background. So this is gonna affect the lighting. This is called HDRI or image-based lighting. And you can change the brightness, lighting density, shadows, and so on. And again, you will find similar tools in Blender. Just as for the materials, you can change how the material looks. You can change the metalness, the, the color, the base color. You can change the roughness, make it more glossy or more rough. And um, well, many more tools here for post-productions here, like the ambient occlusion, I think it's it's gonna be good for to have like nice shadows, enhance the details on your model, the sculpted details and so on. But you have a lot of, other stuff here you you want to make you want to take your time and use all these post production effects like uh, chromatic aberration vignetting bloom so everything that you will add is going to be like some extra that you're going to add to your model and it's going to be better and you also have augmented reality and virtual reality here tools that you can use you can um, work with also this type of uh, things with Sketchfab. But this is gonna be, again, a quick overview, a quick presentation. So I'm gonna go to save everything here, and then if I want, I can publish my object. 
And now I have a link, so you can share the link, you can see your model online, it's just a matter of minutes, as you saw. You can change the uh, license if you want, uh, you, you will have to choose a Creative Commons license, and so your model can be downloadable or just visible, can be downloaded by other people, and again, you can, if you give the download option, you can also change the uh, license. So this is going to be it for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support our channel, you can join as a supporter. And you can also check our other video courses in the channel about Blender, but also many other 3D software, the most important 3D software out there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.